you're watching Market Glance, an overview of the top stories which may affect your trades as reported by Investing.com, brought to you by Dukascopy TV. The euro moved higher against the dollar on Friday as heightened concerns over geopolitical risks saw investors sell the dollar to lock in gains following its recent strong gains. Euro USD was up 0.35% to 1.3410 late Friday, trimming the week's losses to 0.13%. Investors will be awaiting Tuesday's report on German economic sentiment amid concerns over the outlook for the recovery in the bloc's largest economy. Wednesday's US retail sales report and Thursday's preliminary data on second quarter growth in the euro area will also be in focus. Asian stocks have risen as tensions ease slightly in Ukraine. The Nikkei 225 was up 1.7% as stocks in Tokyo recovered more than half of 3% fall on Friday and spread bettors expected the upbeat momentum for equities to continue into Europe. And US stock futures also pointed to a modestly firmer opening later in the day. However, investors remain wary of persistent tensions in other global hotspots, such as Iraq, marked by an increasing death toll and new US airstrikes. Businesses in China have been enduring dawn raids by China's increasingly aggressive antitrust enforcement agencies, the NDRC, and the State Administration for Industry and Commerce, seizing evidence that may aid broader probes into antitrust violations or corruption. Several major foreign companies have been raided in recent months, from car and drugs manufacturers to technology firms such as US software giant Microsoft Corp. As China steps up enforcement of a 2008 anti-monopoly law, companies are giving their staff dawn raid training to prepare them for the intense questioning and detailed searches. Gold prices eased in Asia on Monday on profit-taking, but remain well supported on prospects for volatility linked to events in the Middle East and Russia. On the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange, gold for December delivery traded at 1,309.70 a troy ounce, down 10%. Elsewhere in metals trading, silver for September delivery fell 42%. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.